Ben wants to implement product line engineering with pure variants to improve the development of his coffee vending machines and manage their increasing complexity. But how exactly does it work? Michelle explains that for every industry or product line, pure variants is always implemented in just four steps. In step one, the entire product line is described in a generic model called feature model. Here, all product decisions, which lead to different product variants, are expressed with features in a tree structure. Features can be interfaces or technologies like Wi-Fi or NFC, payment methods, different grinding mills, or regional regulations. All dependencies can be secured with additional rules. In step two, the features get connected to the variable engineering assets like requirements or code. This happens directly in the tools where the assets are developed in a 150% context. For example, all assets for credit card payment get connected to the credit card feature. In step three, configurations are created for each variant based on the feature model. With the incorporated expert knowledge, Pure Variants protects you from misconfigurations and unfeasible product variants. The configurations are called variant models. In the fourth and final step, the variant model is used to transform the 150% product line assets to 100% variant assets. All assets of all engineering tools can be transformed in one go. The four steps can be grouped in two different ways. In the top level, called domain engineering, the product line is developed in a 150% context. Whereas in the lower level, called application engineering, everything is in a 100% variant specific context. The left side is called the problem space. Here, the product variability is controlled centrally in pure variants by using features. The right side, called solution space, refers to all assets within the engineering tools in which pure variants is integrated. Ben is delighted that pure variants can be used for any product line in the same way. He can't wait to tell his colleagues about this smart feature-based approach. And the Pure Variants logo helps him to remember how it works. That's smart too.